Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Photoshop, Photography, Lightroom as well as Video Editing Tutorial. Today I will teach you how to get a long shadow flat icon. This is a trend for today's web designing. All uh, companies are uh, showing their software as flat designing, flat website designing, flat icons and each and everything is in flat. And this is a very famous effect in today's web designing. It is called uh, flat shadow icon effect so today I will teach you how to get this uh, effect using Photoshop CC as well as CS6 so let's see how to get this effect in Photoshop CC so firstly make a new document uh, by going to file then click on new then you will get this dialog box then I want width 512 pixel height 512 pixel and resolution 72 pixel now click on OK uh, then choose this rectangle tool now click on here once and now you will get the option to put the width and height for this rectangle now I want uh, 460 height 460 now click enter uh, I don't want any stroke so go to this stroke then click on none now I want to align these two layers to get align select both layers now go to move tool then align it vertical horizontal now this is available as center now choose your text tool now put text here I want uh, something like this That's nice. Now click on OK. Now move this text to center. Now right click on here on the text layer, then new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Click on here. OK. Now I want to, I want shadow from the top left corner to the bottom to make this eff to make this effect uh, firstly I have to change the view for this so I will go to this then there are so many options to change the camera view of uh, this text now click on left if you see there now I want top now click once on this now shadow is available for me now select this text now click on this icon in the middle of this x-axis I want 90 degree now the font is very small to make it larger whenever you move your mouse you will get three arrow triangle now drag the mouse and uh, whatever you like to feel the size of this font you can do now now I now I want to change the direction of this shadow so you will get this light source click once on there then you will see this now change the handle of this that's nice now leave it now go to font inflation material click on once now on specular click here I want pure white click on ok diffuse uh, I want that's already white now click on this uh, render button or you can do go to 3d and render it will take time So this is the result after rendering this document and uh, go to layer. So I want uh, now shadow is coming outside of this frame so I will take selection so firstly I have to change the mode for this I will go to essentials okay now right click on here. Mm. 
right click on here so leave it uh, now the shadow is coming outside of this frame to I want pure white so take a selection from this by pressing ctrl click and then you will get this selection now click on here make a new layer now I want invert invert it now fill it with white now I have filled this layer with white so as you can see here it's really a nice effect and uh, this is a trend for today's web designing so I hope you have liked this video and many more tutorials for this web are coming thank you friends keep watching and please subscribe my channel for more more updates